so um, today we've got, um, looks like a longer workout, but these are very short, um, multiple short efforts. Uh, so looking for that anaerobic stimulus again. Um, the, these, uh, this is kind of like a, a switchback couplet because um, there are three movements today over three workouts, uh, switching between, switching movements throughout each couplet. So we're kind of switching back through uh, movements until we've had every combination. So um, with rest in between and very short reps, um, we're looking for uh, unbroken efforts and um, uh, unbroken efforts that, uh, that we could do double the reps of, of the given movement. Um, so we're switching before we, we get any type of uh, fatigue response. Um, so, so that's what you're looking for today through the switch back couplet. And the, the name of the game becomes speed and efficiency. Um, there is going to be some fatigue that sets in just because um, of the sheer nature of this workout. Um, and one of these these uh, these pieces is towards the end in, in the wall wall, your arms might feel some fatigue. So we're going to start with discussing on the wall wall um, a, a tactic that helps when we get kind of that lack of acid buildup in the arms because we're so compressed um, and we're, we're, we're holding, we are uh, extending the ball as best we can show us the movement. We're extending the ball overhead. Um, that when it's paired with the totem bar, the, the arms are going to be home overhead a lot. So we're going to feel a lot of, uh, of um, fluid build up in those arms. So what we're going to attack what we can do is those arms can come out in like windmill fashion, or windmill arms, and it kind of just gets the fluid movement. Um, and we return those arms back under the ball by the time it comes back down on us. Um, and it can really help to kind of shake in the arms. All right, next movement, totem bar. Um, so that's easy to show us this total bar here. Um, but I really want to think about lat activation, and um, a lot of people think about pulling the toes up to the bar, um, and it kind of throws off our rhythm, rhythm when we when we actually pull the toes up to the bar. Um, we want to see Besky pull the bar down to his toes, and obviously he's not going to rip the, the bolts out of the wall, and, and the bar not actually going to come down to the toes. It's just going to help him. That kind of action, that kind of thought, and that pull against the bar is going to help them activate through the lats and core a lot better um, for a lot more power per rep. Okay? Then we get to the, uh, the double under. That's he's going to start off here. And on these double unders, I want you to watch Bessie's legs and how straight they are. Show us some dog picking now. Now show us some bigger disorder because she's like really bent. He's like exaggerated jump. Yeah, sure. So, not a lot of double unders today. It's only 20 every round. Um, that's like, for people who are good at double unders, that's less than 10 seconds. Okay? Um, not a lot of time there. We want straight legs and we have a lot of fast rope. Um, the straighter the legs, the less energy we waste. We don't need to jump high if the rope's um, jumping fast. We just need that little bit of ankle extension with some soft knees. We're not talking peg legs. We're just talking talk about straighter legs and the two uh, crappy versions that, that Besky showed you there. All right, so just work on work on using that ankle extension and it's not that much of a jump, but you have to be faster in your rope speed. All right, guys, so this one today, three movements over three couplets uh, for that switch back, um, switch back Metcon today. Uh, have, have a good time with this one, it, it is fun.